Greg, of course, uh, a positive mood uh, around the place quite a lot recently, to be fair, but I imagine that's only continued off the, off the back of a, a good result on, on Saturday. Yeah, it's been um, a much improved couple of weeks. Um, I'd like to think this has just been a build-up of the last couple of months, to be honest. Um, going in after Christmas and coming into January, I thought we were we were doing all right, um, maybe hadn't picked the points up that we should have. Um, but the last maybe 10 games, I'd like to think we've um, we've improved a lot. And coming off the back of the, the last couple of weeks, dominating two pretty good teams in this league. Um, and then to go on Saturday and um, to do what we have accomplished is, is, a, is a credit to us. Uh, we've stuck at it and... Um, the fans have stuck at it as well, so it, as a club, it's it's turning around and we're progressing. Yeah, and you touch on Saturday a, a little bit there, obviously, in terms of like recent games and stuff. Obviously, had a few newer lads who've come in and, and slotted into the squad and stuff. Obviously, on on Saturday, quite a few of them couldn't play, so it was kind of down to the the bare bones really. Obviously, you saw in the, the second half, obviously, and, and Bales both came on. Obviously, they've been out injured for a while. Ollie and, and Dylan Archer playing as well. Both lads who've, who've been with the academy, but in terms of you know the I suppose the, the achievement in itself for you as, as captain and the side, I mean, where does that kind of sit at the minute, obviously just getting to the final? Yeah, that sits, um, sits very highly. Um, I think I've done a couple of interviews um, and said that if we did get to the final and we managed to stave off relegation, then I think that's kind of on par with what we did last year winning the league. Um, and going back to the, the squad, um, the squad depth now for the league games is 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 huge, and we've got we've got some very very good players that have come in, and and they're going to want to play games, and um, it's going to be tough for for Mike and Bust, but we know that it's a squad game. They've told us that there's going to be rotation, and um, it can't, we kind of just get down about that. You've just got to support the lads that are on the pitch, and, and that's what we're going to do. Um, but yes, yeah, back to the achievement wise, I think it'll be definitely up there and one of my proudest days. Yeah, and recent games I've seen, including the, the weekend of the league games as well, I've seen a slightly different sort of setup formation wise. It's probably going back to, I think, when, when Mike and Busted first took over, I think they maybe used a, a similar type of setup very early on before, before changing things a little bit. But what, at least you know, from your point of view as a player, is, come with that change in system in terms of your, your role in things as, as well as part of that? Yeah, I think um, I think it was the first year that Mike and Bus took over. Um, we played this formation um, and I was played in the same role. Uh, it's one that I typically enjoy. It's more attacking um, and I can just get in between those pockets and, and play forward and um, hopefully uh, we've seen a bit of a a change in like how I've played. I've obviously a couple of assists and a couple of goals, which I was struggling to to get before. So um, it's one that I've tried to improve on in the last few weeks myself. Um, but as a team wise, we just look so much more uh, fluid. Um, the five at the back was solid. We've got two in front, but then we've also got five that can go out and attack, um, as well as. Louis Story chipping in with goals. We've got we're we're a threat off set pieces. Everything's just kind of everything's kind of clicked, um, and we're really uh, full steam ahead. Yeah, and you you mentioned in in terms of your own stats, goals, assists wise recently. I mean, are you someone who kind of gets too down on yourself if you aren't kind of getting goals and assists? And obviously, some lads if they're they're not scoring, they're not getting assists, can can get a bit in that sense where they, they feel like they're not contributing because they they look at the stats and there's nothing getting added to in the, the stat column and, and that type of thing. But are you someone who, who gets too down on that or do you prefer to try and not fix it on that too much? No, I never fix it. I don't think um, it's as important as long as the team's winning um, or picking up points. It, it, it doesn't matter to me. Um, obviously, it's always nice to have those stats backing up. Obviously, good for, good performances, so... Um, obviously I want to score but as that at the end of the day helps the team so that's what I want to be doing um, so no I'm not really looking at stats Yeah and for for tomorrow night obviously another big game at, at home against a, a team who are fighting the, the drop themselves obviously Yorville had a, a disappointing result from their point of view on Saturday obviously losing 2-0 at home so still 
sitting behind us in the league and will be very much coming here looking to, to leave Rogers, take three points and, and get themselves back out of it. But I mean, how big is it from, from your point of view tomorrow night? Obviously, you're coming into things on the, a good run and on the back of quite a bit of momentum yourselves as well. Yeah, um, their last few results probably they're, they're looking at that thinking it's it's coming to Gated and we're going to have to, to perform. Um, and it's the same with us. We need to keep that momentum going. Um, or the, it's just another game of football though and we've got to mentally prepare ourselves for what Yeovil are going to throw at us. We know that they've got some good players um, and they're just on a difficult run of form. We've been in the same situation this year. Um, so we know what it's like and they know how how they have to go about it to change it, so we'll be ready. Um, and like I said, we're, we've got a squad now capable of, of um, for Mike to mix it up and keep us on our toes.